good day. Welcome to King Wilma's Everything. We got us a ceiling light, a broken ceiling light, and I want to see what's wrong with it. I cannot throw this out. This came out of a church. It was broken, taken down, replaced. I think it's probably like two years old, so I'm sure it's out of warranty. But I think we can probably fix this. I'm going to guarantee that this is some bad LEDs or bad LED. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to ghetto test for bad LEDs. So I already kind of pre disassembled it, so I already know what's inside under its nice little cover. This nice little glass dome. So it's a high quality light, and I kind of like to save it if I can. It has this kind of neat uh, little plastic cover on it, so you know when you, for some reason, if you were to take your dome off, maybe when you're installing it, you can test it and you don't get electrocuted by touching those two bits. That's bad. So it kind of does kind of cover it up. It's keep you from getting your little fingers in there and touching things. So I took that off. And I did notice that um, <clears throat> it's got just a hair of um, heat sink compound, almost nothing, just kind of a couple little little smears here and there, just enough, to, I think, to hold it on. So they really didn't heat sink it very much, but I guess it's a big um, uh, piece of aluminum, so probably just touching it should radiate the heat out. Uh, you kind of see here, I don't know if you can see or not, let me see if I get it closer for you guys. Um, it is 2835, 2 watt. 84 pieces, so 84 LEDs at 18 watts. And I think these uh, 2835s are uh, 12 watt LEDs, so we're going to test it with 9 volts. And you'll see why. I, I think I should have probably tried a little lower, but I wanted them far off. But uh, you get you touch it with 12 volts, you get blasted. And so we're going to test each LED individual, and then we're going to mark the bad one or bad ones. I haven't tested any yet, but I think this is going to be what we want to do. So I thought I'd show you my test rig, ghetto rig. You can see it's just like a 9 volt battery uh, for a uh, LED light. And I put two little test leads on it properly. Of course, I just stuck them in the hole. And then I, what I did on the other end, I put on the little clippies two little pins. So we can touch each one because uh, the solder is kind of far in there, so it's kind of hard to get to it. So I figured at least we can stab in through whatever whatever's on here. I don't think there's any coating on here. There might be some light coating, but you kind of get the idea what we're going to do here. So touchy, touchy, lighty, lighty, and away we go. And you can kind of see um, these have a polarity on them. There is a little notch. It's uh, really, really small. We'll have a look in the corner here, a little example for you. But trust me, it's there. So I know that this is the, oh, what color is which? This is positive, this is a negative. So we're going to hook it up right. And so anyway, you might want to be wary that you're going to be blinded. So if you don't like being blinded by light, at least working the LEDs, let's see. Come on, baby. And you know what? I think my, my test came up. My ghetto test rig came apart. There we go. Now let's test it. I got it backwards. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Positive is green. Negative is yellow. That's my color coding. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around each and every one of these, get blinded. Probably should put on some sunglasses or something. Um, what kind of leads me to believe that there's some bad LEDs here is... Let's see if I can get this. Just this one. That there are a few of them that have like some like burnt marks on them. Uh, let's see, like this one here definitely. That one there. So let's test these first. And we know that this works because we're getting some light. Right. Should I be blinded? Definitely you probably shouldn't use 9 volts. But okay, so that one does work. Here's one that we suspect is bad. And it definitely is it gonna light up. Okay, no lighty. The other one that we're suspecting is bad is this fellow. So let's see if we can get that. Let's try one next to it just to see if we're right. Okay, so we're pretty sure that these are bad. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go around and test each one just to verify. And then what we'll do in not this video, the next video, because what I have is I have LEDs, but I do not have those. I have, what are these? I think these were 3528s, and we needed 35. Oh, 2850s. So we're wrong. These are, oh, here we go. 
warm light, three volt, three to three, three to three point two volts. But you kind of get the idea what we're going to do. We're going to take some of these when we get the right ones from a, like a pick and place machine, and we're going to take off a little LED, unsolder him, put the right one in, and voila. So we definitely can't use these because these are um, three volts, and we need twelve volts. But I thought I'd share that with you how I'm going to test this. And I'll tell you what, next time what we'll do is we'll solder a new one in. Or solder whichever ones are bad. We know two for sure. And give her a test. Uh, just a warning. You may not want to do this. Uh, you know, you know if you're not good at soldering or you don't trust what your work, work on electricity, make sure it's not plugged in. Don't plug this in. Take it off the ceiling. Uh, test it. You kind of saw my... Jimmy Riggin here you might want to do something a little more professional, but a quick and dirty way to test each LED because you want to make sure that it's going to fire, turn on. And then if it doesn't turn on, we know that's the bad one. So got a couple. What I'll do, I'll go through. And in the next video, see all the ones that I have marked up that are bad. And then we'll desolder them, put some new ones on, and we'll put the right ones on. Hopefully we'll have them by then. And we'll give her a test. And hopefully this light will be back in action because it's, it's a shame to throw this out. It's such a nice light. And there's really, uh, the only thing that's wrong with it is some five cent LEDs. Let's swap it out and replace it. You're spending your time learning something and getting your light back. So don't throw this out. So anyway, until next time, have a great day.